Welcome back. We are continuing to see a really nice evening here in middle Georgia. Just a little bit ago, we were seeing a few isolated showers. Now really just this one little shower in Johnson County and one popping up near Abbeville. So we continue to stay mostly dry. This is what that 10% chance of rain looks like for today and probably similar to what we're going to see heading into tomorrow. This is looking at right now on our 41 sky view overlooking downtown Dublin where we see just a couple of clouds. Otherwise, it has been a hot day. Temperatures were back in the 90s right now cooling off to around 91 degrees, feeling like 91 with dew points in the low 60s. So the lower humidity sticking with us at least for right now. 98 degrees, our high temperature here in Macon with 69 as our low. So we are well above normal for this time of year, getting up to that 98. And we're expecting more of those upper 90s as we head through the rest of the week. In fact, right now we've only cooled off to 97 degrees here in Macon, 95 in Warner Robins and seeing 96 down in McRae. But you take a look across the rest of the southeast, high pressure at the surface sitting right over parts of Alabama and Mississippi. We do have a few areas of some showers in parts of North Georgia, but really none of that down here as we sit with the stationary boundary just kind of right over us. So that's going to keep most of the rain just to our south as we head into today and into tomorrow as well. A stationary boundary eventually pushes a little bit further to the south and then really just kind of starts to fall apart into tomorrow. Doesn't mean a whole lot for us. We're going to see pretty similar conditions. Highs warming up back into the upper 90s by tomorrow afternoon. A 10 to 20 percent chance for showers just kind of depending on where you are. But most of us will be staying dry for both Wednesday and Thursday as those high temperatures warm close to 100 degrees as we're heading into the end of the week. So it's going to be very, very hot. We'll also see that humidity slowly increasing and you start to see more of that kind of pushing in from the coast as we are moving into Friday evening. So that's when we start to see our rain chances increasing for the weekend, but still very isolated showers out there. You also notice that humidity really starting to go up as we're heading into Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Once again, that's when we'll see the better chances for rainfall, but it's also when we see our feels like temperatures just really kind of cranking up all the way to 105 on Saturday, 106 on Sunday. So it is going to be rough out there. If you're heading out to Bragg Jam, you need to stay hydrated. For the rest of tonight, temperatures will be falling into those middle and even some low 70s by early tomorrow morning. But through the day tomorrow, we are back up in the 90s by lunchtime, 96 degrees by around 3 p.m. And by later in the afternoon, we get into the upper 90s for much of the area. Looking ahead to the weekend, once again, we are going to see the heat and humidity, but also some better rain chances out there for Saturday and Sunday. So if you're going to be out and about, just keep an eye on the weather. Otherwise, most of us should stay mostly dry and hot once again. In just 10 seconds, I'll have a look at our seven-day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75, exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC Act Weather 7 day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. Temperatures will be warming up into the upper 90s once again for tomorrow and through the end of the week. Even the weekend highs getting up to 99 degrees. We'll see some better rain chances starting on Friday and into Saturday. We'll keep those into next week.